one building and a gravel mud parking lot. That was it, nothing. That building used to be, had a big hole in the middle. We took the hole out, made offices. We offered <clears throat> radio and television servicing. We offered auto mechanics. We offered uh, masonry. We offered carpentry. When I came here, we had one building, 43,334 square feet on 34.6 acres, 56 employees, 25 of which were faculty with 10 programs and 485 students. The budget was $350,000 a year. Well, it was producing labors for the labor market that was open. Everybody got hired that we graduated, no question. In 1980, we were primarily a technical school, concentrating on the vocational area and in the two-year technical programs. Eventually, we educated the board to see that there was a need for transfer purposes uh, to have the college transfer program here at the college. When I arrived, Wake Tech was one of the smaller institutions in the state. The trustees hired me with the primary goal of taking the college to the community. And we grew the college from about uh, 29th in size to second in size over the next 23 and a half years. It's been a matter of education as well as changing programs to meet the times. The whole thing goes around jobs. Where are the jobs? And we try to focus our resources on those areas uh, where the jobs are going to be in the future. The university transfer, we've grown uh, uh, significantly there. We've probably grown 25-30% uh, in that particular area. One of the main reasons is because our graduates do so well at the UNC system. We have seen the shift into simulation and gaming uh, and mobile apps. We now have a thousand students who said that they want to major in simulation, gaming, and mobile apps. The name was the W.W. Holden Technical Institute, and uh, it was uh, just way out in the country, and it was the one building that was brand new. Not very many students, as I recall, and uh, I think there wound up being uh, less than 10 people in my class, uh, in my uh, electrical installation and maintenance class. I had got some training any place I could get additional training, but Wake Tech was the beginning and the foundation of my uh, education. We had a very strict teacher. Remember, back then, our hair could not touch mm -mm. our collar. No fingernail polish, mm -mm. no chewing gum, mm -mm. never any mm -mm. chewing gum in uniform or student mm -mm. uniform, and no perfume, no nothing, colognes, nothing. no anything mm -hmm. like that. What we forgot was that that course that we took was only $60. I know. And the last. We could afford that. The, Melvin and I paid it, for that back then, um, and, and we could get in school. And, and do something. We, and we didn't wonderful. even have to buy the books, but remember the last three month, months, Wait Med paid us $25. Yes, I So do. we actually gained money from going to school. Oh, yeah. Because they paid us $25 the last three months that we were. That's right. We thought that was big and that money. That was big money. That was big money. Every two, every two weeks, we got $12.50. <laughs> So on behalf of the citizens of North Carolina, 
I'm happy to join in the dedication of the W.W. Holden Industrial Education Center and dedicated to the education of the people of Wake County and the future of North Carolina. This institution will offer instruction in many areas. Its curriculum will be flexible and immediately responsive to the needs of people who will work for a living with their hands as well as their heads. and expect them to succeed. One student said that it's as if they made it just for us. And of course we did. That's the reason I came, okay? I was excited about that opportunity to build the North Campus. But guess what? We've been able to start multiple other campuses. We're now the largest of the 58 community colleges. I have worked here at Wake Technical Community College for 39 years, and I have always worked in student services. I've seen it evolve from a college that only offer a, free, a few daytime courses and seated courses only. I've seen it e evolve from that to a college that offer as many evening courses as day courses and as many online courses as city courses. I started off with a career in business and wasn't really happy, wanted to do something more that made me happy. And so I ventured off into design, architecture, and construction, and that's when I decided to attend Wake Tech, and it's been absolutely amazing. I'm happy with the decision that I've made. I'm excited about embarking on a new journey. The faculty and my peers have been really, really supportive. And so I just look forward to, to starting my career. Last year, 2011-12 uh, fiscal year, we had over 66,000 adults who enrolled at Wake Tech. We won't be surprised if we hit uh, close to 100,000 students by uh, 18, 2018, six more years. If we have the physical facilities, we could do it. Our role at Wake Tech is to help prepare the citizens of Wake County for jobs. I guess that uh, if you looked at community colleges, if we were a retail store, we would be jobs are us.